Yo, what's up? It's the guy doing things. And we're back for another episode. This is episode five. If you're listening to this, it means uh, you probably listen to the others, hopefully. If not, go and, uh, go and have a look at those. Uh, this episode, we got down to business again. Got a bit sweaty in the CrossFit gym. This is episode five, the CrossFit gym. So get your coffee or a protein shake. (laughs) This is the guy doing things, episode five. So uh, we're sitting in uh, Barrett's in Menlin. They have a nice budget breakfast for 25 bucks. I just ate that. It was lovely. So if you're ever in Menlin at breakfast time, just go, go grab something there. But yeah, the actual reason we're here is to, to join Team Grapes. Uh, this morning I had a little workout with him in, a, uh, in his CrossFit gym. Uh, we, we he's currently working out. Uh, welcome to the guy doing things, Ron. Thank you so much. It's exciting to uh, have a little chat. Uh, I'm looking forward. Yeah. Cool, man. So, um, Ron and I have been friends for a while. We've been in the same res. And, um, yeah, uh, the reason that I, that I chose to talk to him on the podcast is uh, he's... He's kind of a health fanatic. So, just to just to introduce yourself, where did this whole clean eating, clean hard gymming workout thing come from? Uh, yeah. So, um, I think uh, you might not be surprised, but it started with uh, my friend uh, back in high school. Um, we were uh, um, 15, and I think it was the passion uh, my friend had for um, exercise and training when he started when we were uh, (laughs) young and stupid and uh, I think uh, he um, he, his his passion excited me and I thought you know let's let let's give this a try and after after some dedication some hard work I realized that you know um, a healthy healthy body is not built in the gym necessarily but but in the kitchen and uh, you had to be able to balance both out and um, that's what why I um, decided. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna put as much effort into my training as into my eating and my lifestyle. And um, yeah. Okay. Awesome. No, that's that's cool. Um, so I, I I was exposed to this uh, clean eating thing. We were actually neighbors in race. And um, I, I've, before we go to the crossword, I just want to tell a funny story. Um, Ron's mom bakes the nicest uh, rusks and uh, I have a sweet tooth <laughs> that's, that's next level so um, we, we would have like each every two or three days we'd have like a coffee time where we'd sit on the, sit on the stoop and drink coffee me and Ron and always when we sat down I always looked at him and he knew okay now that look means Thornton wants rusks <laughs> <laughs> Those rusks came from home in a in a in an ice cream tub, and they were not for me because my mum knew I wasn't going to eat them. Uh, <laughs> they were for my neighbour, so he also uh, knew those rusks came especially for those tea times. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, the the um, the first time I was exposed to this, we did a program by Jeff Cavalier, uh, Athene X. Um, so we did a. A bit of gymming together. How how did that um, shape your training? So you you started training and then eating well, and then obviously when you train, you need you have a bit more goals. Like you just can't keep on training the same way. You have to become better or you know set new goals. How yeah. did how did you move into the Athene X site era? <laughs> <laughs> That's the parrot from parrots. So he just said hi as well. Yeah. So um, like. Like every newbie, I started on YouTube, um, uh, classic how-to videos, and I followed um, a channel, the Six-Pack Shortcuts, 
and um, I was doing home based training and I did some body weight training and uh, eventually I discovered um, Athlete X on YouTube and I fell in love with the guys um, training methodology um, how you training for longevity and um, athletic um, performance and um, functional fitness and I think that was what um, uh, 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 what resonated with me I wanted to be able to train like this forever and um, it was something I enjoyed and I eventually started um, doing some of his programs I bought um, with with video tutorials and goals along the way and that's that's mostly what um, kept me going and uh, what I enjoy doing awesome so this this lifestyle um, because I because I was exposed to it um, living next to you I think um, the people listening once you once you get into it the first the first few phases like for, let's say the first few weeks or first few months is is hectic um, going through that shift of listen I need to just make a few lifestyle changes you know sleep a bit earlier just cut out a bit um, uh, cut out a bit on the sweets or the chocolates or whatever what is the one thing or, or, or two one or two things that kept you going I mean 15 you're 22 now um, from I mean that's seven years how do you how do you keep on going normally you just get you get these spurts especially this time of year now you get these we want to get back for VAC and then people start gymming. <laughs> Rip for summer. Yeah, and then and then they do it for three months and then January everyone is full of Christmas cake again. Mm. So how, how do you keep on, how do you do this for seven years and not get tired? Yeah, so um, I, I'm, very, I'm very stubborn or strict with myself in terms of that and I think when I started um, it was hard for me because obviously you're with with your family and it's harder to say no to um, to a dessert Sunday Sunday afternoons and oh, stuff yeah. like that Amen. <laughs> <laughs> um, but eventually um, my uh, uh, I think the biggest the biggest benefit for me was when my family started realizing that I was taking this seriously and they um, they supported me in, in my journey and eventually um, it sounds so cliche but it started becoming a, li- a lifestyle a habit um, but I realized, when I realized this is, this is what I'm doing and this is what I can keep on doing, was the fact that I knew I was doing something that was um, sustainable. I wasn't depriving myself of anything. At, initially, it felt like that, but um, as, as I started easing into the whole healthy eating, healthy living lifestyle, I realized that it has to be sustainable. If, if I enjoy a rusk as Thornton does, and I'm... I'm denying myself that that treat every day then come a month two months it's going to be too hard I'm going to feel I have to cheat and obviously that's when you fall off the wagon and when you can't keep up with a um, with a diet and so it's it's when you when you take away the things that you know is going to be hard to um, keep up with yeah so one of the one of the small things I know um, we we tried it but uh, no, neither me nor Ruan could get me off the rusk so <laughs> eventually I just made peace with listen I have a sweet tooth I like mm. the rusk so um, instead of doing that maybe uh, or, or what I started doing was cutting out sugar in my coffee and cutting yeah. out milk so I did the rusk thing maybe uh, one rusk every two or three days but then the other things you start cutting out to just make do the lifestyle thing so I love the, I love that advice yeah. and um for the people listening, I know some of them, uh, some of the people listening may be wondering, okay, but how do we start or how do we do this? And we'll get to Team Grapes now, but I think let's let's do a little challenge for them. Let's do a, uh, try to do no milk for a month or try to yeah. do 10 push-ups each morning and then, um, yeah, talk to us on social media, tag us, tell us you accept the challenge or whatever. And uh, then we'll watch watch the progress for this for this following time. So, what challenge do you have for the people out there? So, uh, I think a good a good way to start um, in terms of fitness and just getting getting people going. Um, most people I talk to hate running. It's 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 the hardest it's the hardest thing to get <laughs> up in the mornings, even in the summer um, when the sun's 
when the sun's just up um, to get out and uh, get active. So I would say take an activity that you that you um, that, that you're always doing um, that you never skip. Say for instance, um, you always uh, um, have a coffee at about nine in the mornings. And take that activity and tell yourself, okay, I'm going to do something that's not as nice. Maybe take a two-kilometer jog and then I'm going to have my coffee. And create incentives for yourself. Yeah. So if, if you know um, you're looking forward to that coffee 9 a.m., um, say take 8.30 and, uh, and, and do a short jog. It could be a mile, it, but do something that's not as nice and reward yourself afterwards and um, sooner or later you'll start realizing that 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 jog um, that wasn't so nice at the beginning gets easier and it gets easier to um, start going initially yeah. okay so let's let's call it the coffee jog challenge so hashtag coffee jog challenge um, <laughs> and then uh, you guys if you if you're starting it if you're doing it uh, send uh, send us uh, send us some of your running photos do a run on Strava. If you don't know Strava, it's a pretty cool, awesome running app. It shows you how you're performing and everything. So, yeah, thanks for that, Ron. Um, tell us a bit about Team Graves. How did that start? What? Uh, how did you start uh, thinking, listen, I'm going to take my phone and uh, video my reps? <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'd say my um, blogging, video blogging, vlogging journey... Uh, started with a with a with a newfound passion. Um, I decided to uh, try out CrossFit as a sport, um, uh, and I thought, you know, my my experience in strength and conditioning training and functional fitness would serve as a good um, foundation for that. And w- with a new with a new challenge, I thought, why not document this journey? Um, it's something I enjoy, and maybe you know. Um, uh, sharing it with a uh, few people along the way might might bring some uh, uh, bring some humor and uh, uh, yeah some some content someone else would enjoy to watch. So Tim Graves was born. Uh, I started with Instagram uh, videos that I post, and um, I'm considering a YouTube channel just to um, see where that takes me. Awesome. Okay. So um, if you want to see a Team Graves, go, go check out his Team Graves videos. Uh, his Instagram handle is Ru1, so R U with a one, and then Grabe. Yes. Yes. G R A B E. Yes. So go follow, go check that out. And if you want to see a YouTube channel, just go like it or comment, because I definitely want to see one. I want to see a YouTube channel. If you want to, just uh, check in as well. Um, Ruan, thank you so much for your time, man. And uh, is there anything closing you want to say? Any, any, maybe another challenge, or maybe just a few closing thoughts. Uh, for the people listening, before uh, before we continue on this uh, on this exciting journey, <laughs> maybe on the on the note of uh, fitness, I would say there's nothing as good as a three egg omelet after a tough CrossFit session like we had this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that's also at Parrot. It, it was huge. It looked like a six egg omelet. That yeah. was amazing. Um, but thank you so much for joining me. And um, also, uh, I think there's going to be a video of us jumping on yes. some boxes on Team Graves yeah. so yeah we got the podcast and the vlog now uh, so you can check it out thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for joining yes. us thanks for the opportunity it was great there we go episode 5 done and dusted hopefully we get some coffee jog challenge photos from you guys remember to follow Ruan Grobe Team Graves and uh Hopefully we'll see you out there. Keep active. Stay cool. (laughs) Till next time. Uh, We'll catch you on the guy doing things. Cheers for now.